to kick off our carbonara with mint and peas. What we need to do is get one onion, roughly chopped, two garlic cloves, and a red chilli or green chilli. Got this beautifully blended. So I'm just adding a little bit of olive oil into this pan and getting it on a low to medium heat. And now we need our mixture in there. So we're going to get this sweating down with the lardons. What we call in the UK smoked lardons and I think you call bacon strips in America. And the key and the big secret to this is to let it simmer with the lid on. You want that pressure to build up and break down that onion and that garlic and that chilli until it goes into a really lovely mushy paste and kind of almost disappears. I'm just going to drop that down to a low to medium heat and I'm going to pop the lid on and let that go for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we're going to get on with the parmesan and egg mixture. Umami is super powerful. It knocks on the door of your other receptors on your tongue and says, hey, work a little bit harder. Let's get flavor in here. And this is such a key element here. And we're gonna crack in four eggs. And in here, you'll see we've got our egg yolks and our Parmesan, and we're just gonna bring those together to form a very loose sauce. We're gonna get our pasta water on now. And now we're just gonna get the pasta into the boil. We've got that beautifully salted water and it's at a perfect rolling boil. This is the point where we want that beautiful starchy pasta water that will help emulsify the sauce later. Just to finish off the pasta cooking, I'm gonna add in my beautiful frozen peas. The bacon mixture is ready now. It's absolutely packed full of flavour. We're just going to transfer it to the eggs and parmesan to begin to cook out that to start to form the sauce of the pasta. So I've just drained the pasta and pea mixture. Now it's time to get the beautiful sauce into that and allow that residual heat to cook it out. So all that beautiful, rich umami flavour, that absolute deliciousness from the chilli and the garlic and the onion. You've got such a flavour bomb here. The best thing to do here is to keep tossing that pasta around. That way, the eggs will not scramble. Really important that you don't let it sit on the pan for too long, otherwise you'll get a really beautiful scrambled egg, but that's not what we want. So there, the sauce is beautifully emulsified. I'm gonna set these aside and get this into my bowl. Making sure you're picking up the lardons and the peas, and we're gonna finish it with some beautiful, fresh and vibrant mint. Just pick yourself some fresh mint. I always like to go over the smaller little leaves, and then you can just get it in every little bite. I'm gonna add some extra freshly ground black pepper, which again is a trigeminal stimulant, and a lovely final flourish of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. It's my carbonara, it's got all those flavors for you to enjoy.